Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living out of time with having. When we do recordings, we are teaching people about our lives. We are also recognizing that there are siblings in a family that are immoral and illegal in everything they do towards someone in their family. In life, we have to tell other people nothing about our life. We are not required or responsible for our life is not true. What I mean is we're not required to tell people what's going on in our life, but we are responsible for our individual life. When people try to take over accountabilities for other people's lives, they end up harming their own lives. In your life, what is your job? What are you supposed to do as a human being in the world? We go through an educational system, we move ourselves into adulthood, we go off to college, some sort of certification program, some sort of on-the-job training, and we live our life. What we do for work produces our living. How much we earn is based on our ability to negotiate. Whether or not we can negotiate is dependent on the types of companies we apply to and the types of corporate culture that they have. But if you are failing in your life, if you're not making a lot, enough living in your life, that is technically on you and it is also on your social networks. You have failed in your social networks if you're still walking around in this community thinking that it's okay to wear your britches under your ass and under your penis and have your underwear showing. You've already failed your life today. No one I know in this fucking world does that and is a successful person. I've never seen a person in Hollywood ever do that either. I've barely seen a pro athlete do that because if they did that, they'd be slapped with an injunction. There's a professional standard that they are expected to uphold these days because they got tired of players getting played with by women and screwed over in lawsuits. Now, something I know about my staying in a space that I feel is reasonably safe for me because it sets me off, up to be able to go and make purchases of my food in the morning is that someone is continuing to spray me with something. I know this because I'm being attractive to some flies. What I also know about the Hispanic and Honduran community is that they are playing into restaurants and they are playing into our communities as landscapers. And as landscapers, they purchase the worst shit to put down on the earth. And in those bad piles of what we call uh, tree clippings, and I forget what they're called in terms of shavings, but in reality, in English, it doesn't matter. What comes in them are the critters from other nations, other places that we do not need here. What we also know about impoverished communities and crazy people overseas is that they actually know how to train flies to be attracted to things. What I'm also learning is that if I have peed in an area that had larvae, it's possible that they're attracted to me, and I have some incontinence from the constant abuse and constant harassment of my life. But when I wake up in the morning, I know how to wake up, because God says, little man, it's time to wake up. And if you don't have an angel, if you don't have God in you, then you don't get that. You just wake up. But here's what I know, that there are incredibly immoral men and women in America. It doesn't matter what race they are, it doesn't matter what nation they come from, they are still illegal and immoral in America. Okay, mister, how are you? And as you can see that people don't do things correctly, they don't realize you're working, they just keep talking to you, and that's okay. But it's an authentic and natural concept of my cast that I will keep working and playing.